Hey guys, welcome to Skyline Motions and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and use a spin transition preset into DaVinci Resolve 15. So without any further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first of all, we have to create a new project. So click on this new project and let's rename it to a spin transition and click on create. Alright, so now we have to change some settings. So click on this setting button and change this timeline frame rate 24 to 30 fps and set this playback frame rate 30 fps and set this resolution 1920 to 1080 and go to this optimize media and render cast and check this box and this one also for a smooth render preview and click on save now let's import our video clip so go to the folder and import your video clip so i'm using this one and this one and this one and just drag this clip to the media pool and click on don't change all right so now let's arrange this clip to the timeline so all right so now i want to add spin transition over here between these two clips okay so just go to 20 frame forward in time so right now we are on three seconds so according to 30 fps it should be three second and 21 frame okay over here so add a cut something like that okay and go to 20 frame backward in time from this cut so according to 30 fps it should be two second and 11 frame and add a cut over here okay now drag this clip something like that and select this clip and drag this something like that okay now select these both clip right click on this and here is new fusion clip so click on this okay and go to fusion tab and here we get these nodes so right click on this go to arrange tool and check this box to turn on the grid snap okay and now let's find out that frame where we have added a cut so so go to frame number 19 and select this merge and drag it something like that okay and select this media in one and click on this transform button to add a transform something like that and select this media in two and add another transform something like that okay now select this transform two and go to this inspected tab and here is angle so set this angle 180 and hit enter okay now let's add another transform so select this and click on this transform and select this transform and go to frame number 19 and here is angle so right click on angle click on animate okay and put the value something around 90 and hit enter okay and now here is edge edge so change this canvas to mirror so it's looking something like that okay and go to around 15 frame back in time so from 19 it should be on frame number 4 and set this value 0 okay and now go to 15 frame forward in time from frame number 19 so it should be on frame number 34 and set this angle 180 degree okay so it's looking something like that okay now open your spline window and check this angle and click on this fit button select all these keyframes something like that and click on this smooth button okay now select this cti and set this in center something like that and hold this handle and create a curve something like that and hold this handle and create a curve something like that now select this handle and set it something like that okay now close this spline and now we have to add a blur node so select this transform press shift plus a space bar for search box and search for blur and here is radial blur so select this radial blur and click on add 
okay now go to frame number 19 where we have added a cut so select this frame number 19 and set this a smooth strength value something around 0.5 and hit enter okay and right click on a smooth strength and click on animate and go to 15 frame back in time so it should be on frame number four and set this strength value zero and go to 15 frame forward in time from frame number 19 so it should be on frame number 34 and set this value zero and here is border type so so select this replicate okay and now click on a spline window again and uncheck this angle something like that and click on this fit button select all these keyframe and click on this a smooth button hold this handle and create a curve something like that and hold this handle also and create a curve something like that okay now select this handle and just drag it so now close this spline window and let's check this transition so go to edit tab click on this loop button and let's check this all right so it's looking awesome so now let's create a preset so go to fusion tab again and select these node only and right click on this and here it's setting and here it's save edge so select this save edge and choose your location so i'm selecting desktop zoom transition and let's rename it to spin and click on save all right now go to edit tab again and now i want to apply this spin transition over here so move this CTI 20 frame forward in time so according to 30 fps it should be 6 second and 21 frames so place this CTI over here and add a cut something like that okay and go to 20 frame backward in time from this cut so it should be 5 second and 11 frame okay so now add a cut over here okay now drag this clip something like that and select this clip and drag it something like that okay now select these both clip right click on this and click on this new fusion clip okay and go to this fusion tab and here we get this node so just deattach this media out and delete this merge okay and now let's open your folder and this is our spin transition so just drag and drop to the flow window something like that okay and place it over here something like that and attach this transform one to this media in and attach this transform two with this media in two okay and here is media out so just attach this media out with this okay and go to edit tab and now our spin transition is ready so now let's check this whole clip all right so it's looking nice and that's all for this tutorial i hope you like it so i will see you next tutorial till then bye bye